I just about missed this throw over to you, Dawn. Why? Because Nigella Lawson is here, and I was so oh. taken by her in the green room. I'm like, right, show's on. <laughs> You know what? Must see TV between Nigella Lawson in studio and Bubbles the Cat here at the SPCA. There's absolutely no reason for anyone to watch any other channel. <laughs> um, and for everyone to get by their television. Uh, good morning, Kim. Thanks Hi, for joining Dawn. us this morning. We found the trick to keeping Bubbles calm. Yes. Overdose on temptations. Yes. Well, well to, hopefully she doesn't. I'm trying to break up them into <laughs> tiny little pieces so that she thinks she's getting lots when really it's only a couple. I love it. That's a great yeah. little way to uh, monitor the amount of treats they're eating. Tell us a little bit about Bubbles. Bubbles is a young kid. They're, they're saying she's about three, I don't know, from her interaction today and how she is. I think she's a bit younger. Uh, she's uh, in looking for a home. She's pretty, uh, I mean, she's pretty calm now, but she's pretty outgoing. So if you're looking for that cuddly cat, she may be not be that one that just wants to be cuddled. She wants to play. She wants to do things. So um, make sure that you're able to, you know provide what she needs. Today's one of those cold days out there. What do we need to know about our cats and the oh, cold? Oh, you know what? Keep them inside. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's cold. Um, you want to make sure that your cats have access to indoors, that they can get in. Um, we think because they have like fur coats that they're okay. But really, think about us and the temperatures and how we have to adjust accordingly and put jackets on. It'll be the same for the cats, especially if they're used to being indoors. And of course, it's a special time for anyone that is even thinking of adopting Bubbles or another cat. This is a good time to do it. This is the best time. We actually have an event on right now, 50% uh, off. So of adoption fees. Adoption fees. Not off the Sorry, cat. No, no. <laughs> That's right. I keep saying that. Yeah. No, 50% off the adoption fees. So if you go into any of our, our BCSBCA branches, um, find a, a companion, and it's 50% uh, off. And, and, and please, just we're trying to make room for other kitties to come in, because it is cold outside. Turning burrs into purrs rests. For more details on bubbles or any other animals that could uh, use a forever home, you can check out the spca.bc.ca website. Yes, and definitely keep the kitties warm with this weather pattern changing and some Arctic air on the way. And also dog walkers, be mindful that as it dries up later this week, the ground will be frozen solid. Really hard on the paws for those little critters, isn't it? Oh, we've got cloudy conditions right now. It's not... Good morning. It's just coming on 754. You're watching Breakfast Television. We're here at the SPCA where we're turning burrs into purrs. Of course, 50% off adoption fees. Kim, tell us a little bit about this little guy here. Well, this guy here, Mustache, is about a year and a bit, year and a half, young male, friendly, outgoing, uh, very social. Needs a home. Needs a home. And um, we should point out, too, that we were talking a little bit about winter and obviously when it's cold like this, keeping your cats indoors. But what are some of the other hazards that we don't necessarily think of? Well, you want to watch. Uh, I mean, we always... Um, advocate for uh, purchasing the pet friendly antifreeze because if your cats are outside or wildlife uh, they can get into it and get quite sick it can kill them so uh, you want to ask your your local hardware store um, gas station for pet friendly antifreeze the other thing is if you're starting your car in the morning or if you've come home and it's it's warm cats will often get up into the engine where it's nice and warm so when you get up in the morning, just give your hood of your car a bang so that you can startle them. I don't want to scare them, but you want to get them out of there because you don't want to start your car and have the cat in there. Great blues event happening. Yes, this Saturday night, November 28th at Edgewater Casino. Uh, blues for Paws, put on by, hosted by Rob Montgomery, and we have a lineup of amazing blues players. Jim Burns, uh, $20 a ticket. You can go to our events page at sbca.bc.ca and come down and support. Uh, all the proceeds go to help us at our food bank for people living outdoors. Fantastic. More details, spca.bc.ca. We talked about the cold weather. How long will this cold snap last? Russell Kate has all those details. We'll be right back. Oh, that's a good scratch, isn't it? Mika. Oh, yeah, Mika is so cute. Kim. She's very cute and very playful. And very playful for some people that are coming to adopt a cat. And we should point out that it's uh, turning burrs into purrs, which means it's 50% off adoption fees. So a great time to adopt a cat if you're looking for a forever friend. Um, what can we learn when we're coming to the SBCA and doing this kind of thing? What can we learn about Mika? Well, when, when you're coming into a shelter and you have a kitty like this, like we were coming up to her earlier, and, and when I put my hand up, she was, you know, reaching out to me trying to, to scratch to, to get me to play. Uh, one is we shouldn't be playing with our hands because we want to teach them bad 
we're, habits. We're teaching bad yeah. habits. <laughs> the other thing too is that uh, when you see a kitty like this, you often think, oh, this is my cat. This is she's picked me, and because she's interacting and playing, and then you get her home and she's not as cuddling and as affectionate as you thought she would be from from this interaction. Um, this here could be a frustrated kitty. So when I see one like this, I think, oh, I, I want her to go to a home where she can get out and have uh, lots of things to do. Somebody who wants to play a couple times a day, more than a couple of times a day, but play quite a bit with her and, and not expect uh, her to be cuddly because um, she just may not be. It may be the frustration. Yeah, so just don't assume that what happens here is necessarily what you get at home, but Mika, I think, would absolutely make an adorable... Oh you know, Perfect. friend yeah. for somebody, Perfect. right? And our volunteers and staff in the shelters know so much about them, so they'll tell you that, oh no, you know what, she's playful like this, but then later in the afternoon after she's had her snack, she's awfully cuddly, likes to sit on your lap. So come in and talk to our volunteers and staff and find out more about them. And we should point out too that there are many ways that people can help if they um, have a cat or already they can actually do um, photos with Santa coming up on the 29th. Yes, here at our Vancouver branch we have photos with Santa the, on the 29th of November from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. It's a $20 minimum uh, donation. Come in, uh, bring your uh, your companions, uh, dogs, cats, rabbits, uh, as long as they're okay with coming in uh, uh, and get your pictures taken. Fantastic. Well, for more details on Mika or any of the other adoptables, you can go to spca.bc.ca. Lots of animals though that you can look at. So cute. A cuddly, playful cat could be in the future, yes. It is 8.54.